Freedom for me means not having a job, not having a house. And by not having a house, I feel as free as a bird. Uh, we started uh, living in 2010 in the wilderness um, because really we wanted to be part of nature instead of just being an observer. We want to be um, as self-sufficient as possible. That's why I learned how to hunt and live in beauty. Like, look around you. It's amazing. It's so amazing to live in that beauty in the mountains. So we don't have security of a house, a job, a proper income, uh, even contact with family and friends. But I found security, obviously, in Peter, in my relationship with him. So I look after him, just like you would look after your bottle in, with water in a desert. The secret of good relationship, I think, is that you should appreciate the differences. For example, I'm a lot stronger than Peter is, and so I carry a heavy pack. Um, I carry the firewood um, and he has got an academic background so he, um, he's got a lot more knowledge. So I appreciate the differences and don't compete and I think that's, uh, that's the key. when we are hungry and we sleep when it's dark. Time is of no consequence. And also the past is irrelevant to us and we don't play in the future. So time out here is totally different. What the Greek called kairos, kairos time. Totally different sense of time and eternity even. Most people don't see the difference between the dead things and the living things. Like their cell phone, their car, and their computer is more important than the living things. And then it's so easy to destroy by not even noticing. You can so easily walk over a flower um, without even being aware of it. And not only the flower, also your partner or your children or your parents. You destroy them by neglecting it. I learned hunting and we gather a lot of plants and I think that's in human nature because our ancestors survived this way, it's in our blood, uh, we've been hunter-gatherers, you know, all, uh, for thousands of years and it comes natural and I think our mind is made to discover new places. Once the mind slows down, it's amazing to see the beauty, like the beauty of one small bird or a, a little insect or a deer. Uh, and just to see the um, other animals and other life, but even just the how the waterfall flows, or, it's just incredible. It's absolutely mind-blowing. We can go wherever we like. We are completely flexible. I roll up this tent, and pack it in a bag and off we go over the next mountain and that's for me freedom. <laughs>